All right, so we're going to go over our top uh, trade setup in the trade room, and um, this is called a our sweet spot setup or our V top setup. And what that is is that's when we have a, our dual trend filter is pushing in one direction. All right, we have our dual trend filter over on this chart, the far left chart in the trade room. And that's when we have two trend filters that agree, meaning red, red for shorts or green, green for buys. So if you have a red trend zone, then it's red. And it's setting lower highs, which are red also. The market is in a downtrend. So we're only looking for shorts. Now, we have only a couple setups we look for. We look for V tops in downtrends or we look for V bottoms in uptrends and this far right chart on the bottom right chart is our liquidity graph chart this tells us if the market is in a shallow retracement and we're looking for major possible vertical move in the market if it agrees with our chart to the left so just like our other chart to our far left for the V top we're in a hard downtrend I got the same trend filters over here this is our sim scalper that I have on we have our dual trend filter here's our dual trend filter all right we got our trend zone is down and then we have these inner dots these inner dots will tell us that's our proprietary Rinko bar type that we have in the trading room and you can have it on your own system, own Ninja Trader for any market that you look at. So what happens is if the market is red, red on our trend filter, we have nine components built into this trend filter to let us know if we're in a hard downtrend. So if it's red, red, we want to look for the market to retrace. There's your first green retracement at that level. First green retracement. If price does not close by more than two candles above my inner dots, my Sim Rinko bar type, if you're red red, that is a sweet spot trade when it closes back red, meaning you can't close above the structure dots. That's called market structure. Market structure is right there at 65 and a half it came right up to it almost stopped to the tick on it and then it reversed so here's your entry your entry is a close of this candle now this is a 20 Rinko candle there's your entry the low of that candle the stop initially will be the high of this candle where the structure is it's your hard stop so there's your entry, there's your hard stop. Once you get your targets off, you can adjust your stop. I like adjusting on the second target. And then we can get moving to the downside. So this is our liquidity grab chart. The reason I say it's a liquidity grab chart, you'll notice with our dual trend filter, red, red, you see these yellow candles come up. That's when market structure is broken in the past. These are additional setups you can look for only with trend. And this specifically is our sweet spot setup. When we have a retracement and it closes back in the same direction of the trend, and that is called a sweet spot V top. Now, this week, I went back and looked on a 24-hour basis. We had over 35 setups this week on sweet spot setups. On a 24-hour basis, we had 35 of these this week on the ES already. So this is one of our top setups in the room, if not the top setup in the room, because it looks for a shallow retracement and market structure holds with our dual trend filter. So as you can tell, Right now, the entry was 60, and it's low as 49.5. It's down 10 S&P points already. When these sweet spot V-top setups come up, 
we're looking for the market to go vertical, meaning the market should respond in the direction of the trend. Let's go over yesterday. I'm going to go through the whole trading day yesterday real quick, and then we're going to go over trade setups this morning. So if I go back to yesterday morning, and we look at the retail sales news that came out, retail sales came out, the market was green, green. There's my trend zone. Our trend zone has been tested over the last 30 years as being the best zone to reverse price. Then inside of the trend zone, we have our Simrinko dots, our bar type, sitting higher lows. So what you want to do is you want to look for a reversal. Let's go through the whole trading day. There's our counter trend move. It comes down to my structure dots, market structure dots. And it does not close more than two candles below it. In fact, it stops right exactly on it and reverses. So there's your entry up here at the high. The entry was 06 and a half, and your stop was below the bar. Next one, we come up, we get a reversal. Get the red candles closing. Closes right back to the green candle. That's your entry at the close of that candle. At, a lot of you got on this that typed in the room. Good job. 55.10, your stop is the entry. Your stop's below the candle, and the market just explodes to the upside. Look how the market uh, runs on these sweet spot trades. The market just explodes higher. Then we come up. And we start breaking market structure now, but then we get into deeper in my zone. This is called a normal V-bottom. It's a normal V-bottom because we're not holding structure. Closes back up. There's your entry. Stop there. Then we come back up. Get a retracement again. Green, green. We're only looking for buys. We're not looking for sells. Comes down to market structure. Stops exactly right on it. There's your buy. This is only a five-point S&P point play. Then it comes down, comes into market structure, normal V bottom. This is a W bottom. Market takes off because it did not hold structure here, here before it reversed. So this is a normal V bottom. Then we get right back into it. It starts going right back up again. Green, green. We get a retracement. There's our sweet spot trade, right, stops exactly on it. Your entry is 49 and a half. The market just takes off to the upside and explodes up to 65, 15 S&P points from this one. Comes up, comes right back on market structure, looking for a green reversal bar. Once again, right there's your buy setup. You can see how accurate this setup is. You can go back on your own charts and look at all those 35 plus setups that happened this week. There's your entry, there's your stop. Next one comes down way above market structure, reverses. Then we get into the afternoon, looking for the sweet spot trade. We get a sweet spot trade right when the market opens back up in the evening at 70, runs all the way to 79, almost a nine point S&P point play. Then we come into today's trading, and now we're right back to it. Now we turn red, red. The market retraces, does not close above more than two candles above my Simrinko bar type. If you have this on your own system, make sure, make sure that you have 25 Simrinko in as a bar type. All right, we're going to put this video on the resource page. Joe, I wanted to let you know on the resource page, it tells you exactly how to set these charts up. We added some more material at the bottom of the resource page, how to put these trend filters on your chart. These exact trend filters, we went in great detail. It's at the bottom of the resource page. It tells you exactly how to put this on your own chart. So go to the members resource page. Joe, I'll put this video on for you to read to uh, replay on the resource page. 